Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rick, this is Directed Tech, and it is October 14th, and Bamboo Lab has just dropped the P2S. They say the icon redefined. I wanna talk a little bit about this printer and get your thoughts on it, so let's get into it. All right, so, they teased us a week ago about the P2S, and I've only seen one leak, so they were pretty good about keeping things under wrap. Now, they have put a number of things, nothing spectacular in here. Uh, I would say it looks like a kind of an amalgamation between the X1 and the old P1S. Um, We've got some highlights here, five inch touchscreen. I'd say that's probably the biggest new advantage uh, compared to the P1S because the control system on that was pretty archaic. But we've got this new cold air conditioning, uh, engineering filaments ready. The quick swap nozzle is gonna be a huge benefit as well. We've got the PMSM servo extruder like we've seen on the H2D and the H2S. Uh, we have an improved camera. We've got auto flow dynamics calibration now. It is compatible with the AMS2 Pro, so we've got that active venting filament dryer. And we do have, with that upgraded camera, we now have AI error detection. So, a lot of the things that we've seen before. But let's talk about the fact that it's, we don't even know the price here in the US. Now I've got some ideas. Before we get into that, I do wanna thank my sponsor, PCB Way, for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already done so, I would highly recommend that you head over to their website and just see what they have to offer. If you ever need PCB prototyping or 3D printing, CNC milling, they have solutions for you. So please check them out. PCB Way, PCB Prototype, the easy way. Now, back to the printer. If you're in the USA and you go to the Bamboo Lab store, this is what you see. You get all the information, all the pretty pictures and whatnot, but all you get is this button at the bottom that says notify me when available and you click that and it asks for your email address, etc. I've seen some other screenshots, I'm not sure if it was on X or something like that, that uh, said that they had some logistics problems uh, that is preventing shipping in the US. Well, I think we know why that's not happening. So. Question number one, I'm curious, what would you pay for a P2S? Now, if you're outside of the US, you've already got prices. The Bamboo Lab P2S alone, printer only, is 519 euro. Now, if you convert that to dollars, it is currently $602. So, not a bad price, but is it competitive enough? If you go for the combo, you're looking at 749 uh, euro. And if we convert that, that's $869 for the P2S combo. Now let's compare that to the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Well, that printer alone is $799. And I'm not sure how much you're gonna gain from this older technology uh, if you went that way, but notice the X1 Carbon is sold out. I don't know if that one's ever gonna come back. What about the current P1S? Well, that looks like it's been reduced a little bit here. P1S only, $549, and there's this $100 coupon currently. So that's $449 for the old printer, um, which is a great printer. I have had my P1S for almost going on two years now, and I've never had issues with it. Um, I did put the Panda Touch on it because that interface is just not good, and I don't like having to pull out my phone every time I want to you know, change filament or update things or you know quickly go to a setting but anyway let's talk about the competition really quick we still have a lot of printers that are even less than this five or 449 for the p1s what about the elegu centauri carbon look at that very similar printer same build volume it's got you know very similar specs and it is 299 dollars currently um, now, you're not going to be able to do any multicolor printing, at least there is no AMS type uh, system for that that I'm aware of presently. I think it's, they've maybe teased it. Uh, you've also got the AnyCubic uh, Cobra S1 combo. The combo with their Ace Pro is $549. So still quite a lot of competition in the, uh, you know, the low cost printer arena. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts? 
how long are you willing to wait? Are you even interested in a P2S at those prices? You know, $600, $800 for the combo. We don't know what the tariff situation is going to do to this printer um, because they're not going to be able to absorb much cost and try and stay competitive with the, uh, the, the 3D printing climate that we are currently in. So I would love to know your comments. Is this, you know, again, too little, too late? Are you excited about this? It's uh, definitely still... You know, same build size as the P1S and the X1 Carbon at 256 cubed. Um, so if you were hoping for a bigger printer, well, you need to go to the H series for that. So is this of any interest to you? Or are you kind of, did you jump ship from Bamboo when the whole security update happened? Or are you already, uh, you know, spending your money with other companies because uh, the price uh, is just not competitive in the bamboo ecosystem. So I would love to know your comments. As always, if you appreciate these videos, I would appreciate it if you would take a moment to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop new content. As always, I enjoy spending time with you all here on the channel. So let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.